Way too many fakes in my face, I can see the evils Drug addictions, bad bitches, they gotta be jokes See the Pico, black flags, it's all What's good, yo, we back, RTTV What's good, yo, we back, RTTV Gang, gang, gang Weezy, baby <laughs> Yeah Not the Carter 1 Not the Carter 2 Not the Carter 3 Definitely not the Carter 4 But the Carter 5 5, 5, 5 <laughs> He's going for his Kobe Five rings. You think the GOAT got it? Nigga, what, bro? Is that really a question, in, in man? The, in, the, the in the words of LeBron James, it's about damn time. Is Johnny not coming out on Saturday because of this? Yeah, he got it, nigga. <laughs> now, it's it's another hit, Saturday, Barry nigga. Bonds. <laughs> oh, I think you said Johnny not coming out on Saturday. I'm like, nah, he said it was, my nigga, we need that. And it's really dope because if it's your first time in, definitely won't be your last. Nah. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the subscribe button or just. Let that subscribe. Before we go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, check out the RTTV merch down in the comments, yeah, man. man. Down in the description. You ain't know what it is, like, man. Make yeah. sure. Patrick's this fucking dick sucker is what it is, nigga. <laughs> yo. But yeah, RTTV merch down in the description. You already know what it is. See, you could've did that from the beginning. We could've skipped all this bullshit, Pat. See what you I did. Stupidity. Play three seconds, my nigga. Yeah, man. And you know I'm a ride for all motherfucking yo, niggas. Yo, and it's crazy because you see the, the drama that Lil Wayne's been through from 2011. He hasn't dropped an album since Carter Four, which was 2011. It took seven years. Seven. From the battles with Berman, from Hay and Berman to Love and Berman to Hayden and Berman again, to Lil Wayne and Nicki progressing and going further as Lil Wayne had, does not drop a real album in seven years. Seven years. This big hand us with like features here and there and stuff just remind them by reminding us that he still got it and now we got the card of five as a result right here man. And in that year, the seven years, Lil Wayne has birthed inspired a whole generations from the young thugs to the Uzis to the um XX Tentacions. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists, Lil Baby, Gunner, all that different flows, different sounds. Been inspired by Lil Wayne, so salute to Lil Wayne. If Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, and Drake were a basketball team in the NBA, how many rings would they have right now? They'll be the Celtics. Eight rings. Yeah, hey, I mean we watch we watch Lil Wayne get young money now, so Lil Wayne got his money, then he got young money. Mm -hmm. Now he dropping the card of five. We already listened to two tracks off there. Make sure you go check out the reactions to the Kendrick Lamar track and the XXX Tentacion track, Don't Cry. Yo, man. Lil Weezy, Carter 5, yo. You could tell this take, took him some time. Yeah, oh, well. Him and, I guess, a parent. I'm not sure. What did you just say? A parent. No, he said the cut on the cover of Carter 5. Uh, I think that's his mom. Right? Oh, okay. Um, my fault. I don't know. I'm going to go pull the shack. Like, looks like a parent. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The person looks like him. Mm -hmm. And we're about to get right into it, man. Carter 5, first song. I love Dwayne. I love you, Dwayne. Yo, the way you be saying titles, nigga, it sounds like there's supposed no, to be more. No, he makes his own words. Yeah, I'm gonna spin my rock. But I love you. I love you. That I don't even know about. Mama, love you. I love you, Dwayne. That's real. That's real. He ain't true today, Ron. The fuck that you is a man. Man. You truly man. I know it's gonna be a beautiful album. Back. Love you, Dwayne. Caught a fire. Oh, that's no. track number two, Don't Cry as well. Go check out that reaction. Just a little clip. Because we're feeling the vibe so far. Uh, well, starting up. Pretty okay. much, it's like, when you have an intro like that, and then you follow up with... XX and the XX and Tachio feature, you know it's gonna be a crazy album because usually in album history, when you have an intro where the person speaking in the beginning, it is followed up with a crazy ass track, followed by a crazy ass album. So I expect a lot more. <laughs> Did that? Was that your equation there? I'm like, my nigga said, when somebody talks at the beginning and then there's a good song number two, everything's got smack. No, but I feel like I get what you're saying. No, no, I get, logically, I get what you're saying. Obviously. Logically, like if the vibe is continues and it's the tempo is good because it's dope. You see him starting off with, I'm not sure who that is. Cause his grandma, mom, I like think his it's mom. his mom. His grandma, yeah, yeah. Mama loves saying you. that, like, just crying and saying, like, she's so thankful for him. 
And like all the stress that was going through was like the people that matter in his life who made them truly happy. She was pretty much saying, and they're like, well, they can't wait for him to be happy and put out his album, which he wants, because they know it's gonna be good. Yeah. And it's, to the record of going to Don't Cry, it's like, oh, Lil, Lil Wayne was probably saying how ungrateful he was. Like he's a legend, so young, and he's seen so much life. And XX is a legend, but he only lived half, like a short amount of time. So it's like that's why I feel like he's even like he's like appreciating things more now. Like, oh, life is more important. Like I'm 36. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to do this. Like that's why he's the XX. I wish you live in paradise because you didn't even get to experience it. And I'm sitting here crying when I'm living life, and he didn't even get to. It. Yeah, so that's tell you cool. that is a powerful, powerful way to start off. And it's it's dope because even XX, so like, he started off his album like explanation, talking, giving people like a tutorial of how to go about digesting the album. So it's cool to see this like little Wayne doing the same thing, but with his mom. And it's like shit. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of. Um Lil Wayne fans feel the same way as his mom or grandma, whatever that is. Wait for this album to try. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Lil Wayne's been through so much the last few years trying to get this album out. Carter Five, like you said, it's been two, since 2011 since it dropped. So we're here. We here, baby. We here. Yeah. You can tell the albums. The albums are dead off that alone, yo. If I can make my mama say some shit like that above me to be anything I ever do, I won, bro. I won. <laughs> like those are the real wins, bro. Shout out to Lil Wayne. Mama. We about to get into track number three, Dedicate. Dedication! Dedication. <laughs> one and one B. I started this shit, you just part of this shit. Yeah, yeah. Like he's, yo, okay, Lil Wayne is the right. one thing that Lil Wayne did with this album so far is that you know, like other like the other old Lil Wayne, not older Lil Wayne, but like this when we stopped fucking with Lil Wayne, his, his voice is a little too animated. I feel like well, now he's back with his voice that people really fuck yeah, with him for. Yeah, I feel like he's using shit. his like his older flows too. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the way he's rapping on this. Mm -hmm. like Lil Wayne. In the production. Yeah, production. I like this Houston shit. Why don't dress like your garden and shit? You just count the money. I'm drowning in money like what the fuck is the like garden this bitch I go pause in this bitch watch me orbit and shit for the art of this shit and the wall and shit My niggas talk about a little way different the culture you hear the chorus? He right. said you, you tatted your face you changed the culture you st you uh started screaming to whoop. They started uh what the fuck he just say? He's basically talking about they all the way love different. Before. Oh, they love you for it like mm -hmm. it's like every, everyone really like all the things like little way was doing Culture vultures. Fucking that shit. What's draw to look in? I brought in this shit. The starters get pinched. The artists get sent. The targets get hit. Million dollar smile. I sell myself short if I grin. I'm bargaining. I come up with this shit. I come up with this shit. And the foreign car that I can talk to shit. With a cultural tattoos. If it wasn't for Wayne, it wouldn't be. They might think they've got a pretty good jump shot. <laughs> or a pretty good flow. Word. But our kids can't all aspire to be LeBron or Lil Wayne. <laughs> hey. Yo. Now that, that was the flex. That was the yeah, flex of the year. Uh, that, that, was the flex of the year. that record right there, I'm not going to front straight up before we continue. I sincerely apologize to Lil Wayne. I didn't realize it till just hearing that record, for, to realizing how he really, he sacrificed his career to propel the culture. Because you got to think about it. Drake wouldn't be killing the game. Drake was near this all-star. Like, Lil Wayne was Drake. Um, and yeah. Wayne pulled him up and was like, yo, do it like this. He told him the whole game for free, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of OGs don't do that. He gave him everything and more. Drake propelled did. Nicki Minaj, female rapper, did the same thing. They ascend. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Even artists that still his swag, his flow and stuff, he could have went. He could have been the old nigga like, yo, Thugger is hanging on uh, yeah. this nigga, their staff, yeah, Uzi them. them. Nigg niggas want to all be bloods now. Young thugs of blood, uh, six nines of blood. Niggas 
color their hair. Wayne was coloring his hair, do the rock and roll swag. Yeah. Like the whole face tattoos. Really the first face tattoo. I was gonna say, yo, I remember when he did a face tattoo on the eyelids when he had the album cover where niggas yeah, don't see that yeah. shit. And that was the first time I could remember a nigga having a face tattoo. Like, like he's like, he's one of the Gucci was rappers. Out there, right? He's yeah. one of the few rappers that took his protégés and was like, listen, I want you guys to be better than me. You know what I'm saying? Like I want you guys to be great. And he was able to produce two greats. As he was a great. Remember the line he three. said? He was like, um, I'm going to September. I ain't worried. I know Jizzy going to kill, kill him. Yeah. Like, yo, man, we about to get into the next record, number four, Uproar, because yo, this album's going to make an uproar in hip hop right now. Fox. And he just flexed on that last shit. <laughs> Say that's mad funny because I was thinking of this song earlier. I was thinking of special delivery. Yeah. That's mad funny. Second of all, I'm amped as I'm amped as fuck as he sampled this song because like yo special delivery. You know me, I like to get like this is my favorite Harlem Shake song ever. So it's like yo you sampled it, and it's like you made it. It reminded me of Trout Three. You know like he was on that. Yo, so I'm gonna take B to yeah. body shit. Yeah. That's what gave me that nostalgia of right there. I gotta, oh, I gotta switch. And Swiss beat, Swiss, Swiss beats was the one who sampled it. Swizzy. Swizzy. Yo, the crazy thing is he already sampled this song before. You don't remember what he sampled this shit with J. Cole? Oh, I'm in the Green Ranger, nigga. Oh, I'm in the Green Ranger. I mean, and that's the only thing I was saying. I was literally just playing it. Yo, I swear to goodness, I was just playing this like three minutes ago, four minutes ago. That was originally, that was an original beat. That's why I feel like, yo, that was supposed to make the Carter Five. Like that, I, that feel you. I feel like that was trying to make the car fire. And, that, and all he really did is he changed the beat a lot. Yeah. Like he changed it, he added a lot yeah. of the beat. Those are actually like hi hat to it. Damn, you're right. My yeah, teenagers, we party like teenagers. I'm in the green range, nigga. Yeah, I'm a green range. Yeah, nice. I was gonna say, I was like, I could have sworn he did this beat already. He did, bro, 100%. Yo, bro. Nah, but he body. Dedication I, for I, I like this version better than the J. Cole version. I don't know. Nah, I, I fuck with the J. Cole uh, version. Yeah. Yeah. The sample. I like the sample. How you go? Like how you gonna jump me when my legs work, nigga? Yeah, I'm gone. Go. Body, I mean, body it, but I just like, I just yeah, like this more. How you gonna so, jump you? Like track <laughs> number five. Like track number five. Like track number five. We just gotta let it fly, featuring Travis. <laughs> Oh my God! 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 Oh my
This is how I know he's back. Oh man. He said like, top five. Bro, years. the thing is it's crazy that Birdman situation you could tell really artistically fucked him up, bro. Until that was clear, cause now it's clear, bro, he just said I'm the best rapper alive. Yo, like, I was gonna say he hasn't said that in a grip, right? He, I haven't heard Yo, him. I haven't heard and him. And he has to feel caught and the I that verse that. sounds like the best like this is a good rapping album. Yeah. Yeah, this is like Fresh bars. Up. Top five. This is your nah, this is your This song was fun when he was hot. He took every last word and said at least 10 lines of it. He used yeah, line, I would say it. He used mine 10 times. He went line 10 more times. And he went back to mine 10 more times. Like, I, that shit was amazing. Say line. He said, bitch, lying. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, no he said, my line. He said, niggas is fake based on true events. Yo. <laughs> he said, niggas can't read. You already know that line. <laughs> Oh man, that, that was so, yeah. The oh, thing is with God. Wayne, he's going back on his old shit where it's just so many back-to-back -back punch lines, nigga. Like, those are, those are, nigga, we had. That was what Wayne's known for. Yeah, like, like them punch he had a stretch yeah. where he was just dropping mixtape after mixtape after features, and we just could have said, we could say the best rapper alive, because mm -hmm. ain't no, he was on Future shit before Future shit. He, like, that was, oh man. Oh man! To the next track, number six. Switch. switch. Can't be broken, cause yo, Lil hey. Wayne being the best rapper seems like can't be broken. Shit is crazy. <laughs> I feel like you know, I'm dying. I feel, like I feel like that. Um, what's that song? I've been wanting something you forgot. Been, yeah, that's what it's been for you. Because they hate the view, they taste the juice. I hope it make them puke. I'm breaking loose. Shit out the pool unless you go and take the neighbor's food and be afraid of poo. I made the loot when money went from almond green to navy blue. I said the loot. Will it proof? I gave them proof. Sometimes feel like my head is full. Put the lights on natives too, man. I'ma need some crap. I can't hit the brakes for you. Yo! You can never break me down and I can't hit the brakes for you. Nah, I, I could easily say, like, the, the songs that you mentioned in the beginning. Like, it reminds me of that because, like, the thing is, it's like, he's really just giving a nice little course of discourse of his life and shit like that. You feel me? And those songs, he was like, something he forgot. That was one of the most vulnerable songs he ever mm -hmm. talked about, nigga. It's like, yo, you take a piece of me. Like, that's why I love that song. This song is giving me that. Can't break down. Can't be broken. Like you can't break Wayne. I feel like I feel like Lil Wayne, he's very comparable to how Eminem raps, but he does it with more swag and more Ooh, flow. Yeah, 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 way more flow. Like he, you know how like Eminem, he'll break, he'll take one syllable. Yeah, and it was just yeah, it was mm -hmm. just do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Eminem, I mean Lil Wayne does that, but like way more swag, way more flow. Yeah, it sounds man. better. You feel me? Yeah. Again, yeah, the track yeah, number seven, yeah. Dark Side of the Moon, featured the beautiful, the talented Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Switch hat time. Clouds, and we the 
I like it. I, I like the beef. That's what I like. So beef. far, I just want I just want to hit Nicki first right now. And she kept the, the theme of basically using the like astrology as a metaphor for love. The whole time, like Little Wayne kicked it off and she finished it off. That was really dope. That's a good Dark side of I think maybe I expected a, something a little different from that. Oh, nah, I could do it off that cue. Nah, I yeah, could yeah. I just, I just like Nikki's voice. Like her voice is actually really yeah, great. Yeah, Nikki did mac it on. Her. Yeah, she did Nikki, really she did outstanding on that. Like she had yeah. vocals. Well, well, like a whole lot of beat track. You found out that a monkey was unhappy. I should never let that bullshit get past me. Better yet, I wanna break up. Don't you ask me, but the motherfucker that was there never had me. Fucking on another nigga, that's a nigga never alone, but you suck this dick. Yo, Kendrick, Kendrick, number Kendrick eight. You know what I'm saying? We got that reaction that we did. Check so out check that out. link below this. You know what I'm saying? For reaction, we just gave you a little snippet. It's a banger. If you haven't I'm checked it out, cooking. we have a whole video Ooh. just for it. So we'll definitely check it out. Yeah. And we about to get into track number nine. What about me? The Buzz! Featuring Sosa Man. Shout out to Sosa Man, yo. Like that, man. Sosa Man. If you saw me, would you understand? Okay. See you smile, I came up with that. What about me? Yeah. I stayed up all night for you. Girl, what about me? Necessary, yo, because I feel like girls always put in a position as if, like, they're the ones that's mistreated, not appreciated. This song was like, y'all, for all the things I've done for you, what about like, me? What about me? Like, for real? It's like, Girl, what about me? I paid for the nails. Yeah, I'm sick of hearing I about you. I paid for the nail. You feel me? I listen what to your emotions, me? your day. I all come that. to you, massage you. Yeah. Like, I feel like man, they were that's a better version massage. of Rebirth. Like, I feel like Lil Wayne mastered that song, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy, happy you went away from the first thing you said. Yeah, I, I yeah, hope it was on some other yeah, shit. Yeah, other yeah, shit. Yeah, some yeah. intergalactic bullshit. That's so yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's a new better version of Quavo and Travis. Yes, yes. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I think Wayne put him on Carter 5. Robbie, so, get the fuck out Travis Scott's already on Carter 5. Robbie B. Wyland for Pop. It's on it too. The best song on this fucking album so far is that Travis Scott song. You know what? You sound like an open letter, like track number 10. How would it sound like an open letter? It sound like an open letter. You they can read me, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You like when they keep you? You that violin, my nigga? <laughs> Talking about some real life shit. Goodbye, let a dead life shit. Shit. So if a nigga kill me, hope you mean it. I just hope I die for a reason. Reason. I live and I learn. The die trying to teach him love. Oh, Lord. Die trying to reach him. They care more about how much I leave him where I leave it. Leave it, leave it. I hope I leave more of my daughter. I told her I won't hesitate to fuck a young nigga up. Love. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, shit. I think it is what it is after the pants. Oh, the shit. Yeah, I love it. It's like basically, I think with this one, it's like it's more about just like paying attention to every word that he's saying. I love the 808 on that. It's just really kicking, especially with my boy Wells with these speakers right here, man. Mm -hmm. Touch my chest like that. Yeah, I ain't <laughs> That's a question. That's a question. What, what is my reason? And I just What's want to die with the purpose. I feel like he's really just self-reflecting mm -hmm. and really just, you know, talking about why his life could be meaningful to other people. Yo, let's get a track number 11, Famous Feature, version 8, Carter. 11. Father's daughter. Father and daughter, yeah. I like that right there, yo. It's like they it's cool to see like like Wayne just put something that's really within his life that's really a significance behind like his motivation within his music too. So I, I feel like, like he that. has a lot to talk about on this album. A lot. So many years like mm -hmm. like on the last year where he was like, I wonder like niggas care about more what I'm leaving leaving them than when I'm actually leaving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they care more about what I'm leaving when I die than when I actually die. Facts. Like, now he's talking about how, like, yo, I'm a famous nigga, but, like, it seems like there's one person he's talking about on this album, like, yo, before, before, you was my main girl, before I went mainstream, and the last one, he was like, I never fell in love again after that. Mm -hmm. He's talking about his what? Uh, yeah, mama. Toya, I would think. Yo, man, but we about to get in track number 12 problems, because you know I didn't want them. Yeah, I right, nigga. Sounds like a track. Yeah, that's that black hat. Hey, never wrong, but thought I was wrong and I was only mistake. I love all I love me wrong, I don't want to be right there, but you hate me. I thought you just said borderline mumbling. I was exactly. It was, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to say borderline. I want to say he was mumbling on that song. You hear the Erica Badu sample? Bad lady. So if you're buying what I'm selling, you a customer. Seek it up and I'm switched it up. Okay. I'm right down this end and got it twisted up. See, I'm a dog, but I look for my looks. They say you are what you smoke. I grew up around dope niggas. Yeah. This is Snoop Lion, a.k.a. Snoop Dogg, a.k.a. West Coast Mafia. Yeah. Yeah. Legend right there, yo, came through and bless this album right here with a nice six bars right here. I, I, feel, like, I feel like Snoop Dogg is six bars flat. When he's on it. At this 
badass bitch birthday party recently. <laughs> badass shit. Crazy, stupid thing. Okay. Oh. 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 Hey. The road to hang myself to tie money bag up. Tell them get their honor right before Iron Man come. Tell them bring my car around. Tell them bitches laugh up. Lucas, don't confuse them. Uh -huh. Y'all only hear us. Y'all only humans don't get hit up for it. Cause I got hit us for it. Let's get track number 15. Cause you know, just like track number 15, when he took his time. Maybe that's probably my second favorite track after that track. You sure he took his time with you? Nah, he took my, his time. Look at my head, nigga. Yeah, he put a little extra don't be saying shit. That's your girl, but that's your head, nigga. Oh, shit. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, you can't freestyle. You a freestyle bitch. I do it. Tattoos on my face, nigga. Yeah, I got the back up. Real shining in your face, nigga. Yeah. Face, nigga. Yeah. Your whole smiling in my face, nigga. Smiling, nigga. She's sleeping very gently, so now they starting to enter it, and now they starting to mentor me. Eating like Brittany, tweaking my energy, eating thy sympathy, screaming, cry, infamy. Come on. Demon. I like how he stopped, he started with like that poetry, love Jones, type of flow right there, then he switched it off. Like, they're definitely, there's definitely, they were definitely in the studio snapping. No, I really in the studio, they were like, shit. while he was snapping, they were snapping. Piranha snapping, let's make it happen. Demon, not the 
You come at me, ho, lest you push her. Yeah. No, bitch, and if he dies, he dies. 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 Yeah, run up in that nigga house. Pistol in that nigga mouth. Bitch. You see the fucking thing till you see five, nigga. Boom, nigga. Yeah, we about to get in the last track. Let it all work out, Evan, because you know. You gotta let it all work out. You see, I knew he was going for it, my nigga. All right, those your bars. Let it all go. 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 Let it all
sometimes you just gotta. Yeah, I don't know how Drake didn't make this track, bro. I don't know like the album. I, yeah, I, I, I feel like this track in general, though, I can hear Drake yeah. like, hell yeah. Yo, just like I, I used to. I used to be on Young Money with Birdman. I'm on Bitch, right, it's getting red. red. I'm sorry for evil. I cried. Put it to my head. It's all about it. Nobody was home to stop me. So I called my auntie when I woke up with blood all around me. It's mine. I didn't die. But as I was dying, God came to my side. And we talked about it. He saw me another life. And he made a profit. Well, now I get why Drake didn't make that song. Wow. Yeah, that was a big reflection track for him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, don't that, think, I don't think it meant that. That's what the world wanted to hit. Yeah, and it takes a real man to really, like, that's another thing I was talking about that vulnerability. Like, he really allowed himself to really just break down a very vulnerable moment in his life, you know, broke down every single moment, the person he called, how he felt post and prior and stuff. That takes a real man with real strength to talk about that, especially with people around the world that go through a lot of different things that makes them even contemplate doing that. So the fact we don't even talked about that is amazing. He yeah. went through it. And the thing I feel like about it is um, it's uh, for anybody who's listening to this and going through that same trial and tribulation, you know what I'm saying? Like this will lift them up to be like, listen, yo, think about it before you do it. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, it's oh, like, oh. Cause like in his situation, he survived and it all worked out. In other situations, like maybe like if you shoot yourself, it won't work out. So it's like, you should actually think about it before you consider doing it and think about just life and think about how much better you are going to be as a person. That's it. Yeah, hundred percent. Like he was like, God sold me a new life and he made a profit. Like, yo, I could have never known I could have been who I am today if it wasn't for that moment not, not happening. That was a defining moment for him. So he talks about it now like, yo, all the things I've done since that moment, shit, I feel them. And I feel like it goes even further Big back, lessons. more than just that. I feel like it all worked out with the last track for even everything that happened the last seven years. Mm -hmm. His trials with Birdman, from his, him falling off from his plateau, being the best rapper, from a lot of uh, lean addiction problems with him having oh, seizures, life and death and seizures. Yeah. And I feel like he just going back to saying how he didn't realize like life, as long as he's living, he's winning. It'll all work out as long as he's living. And I feel like that was the message behind it. And the Carter for us, the Carter Five, just like I said, it started with the first song was X, a person that passed, and ended with the end of him talking about that. So I feel like he's just more appreciative of life. And I realized that like, you could tell him when it's happening, like, he's enjoying mm -hmm. his life. Real talk, man. This album got a lot of good ass songs, man. My definitely some of my favorite to this moment is the Travis Scott song that he had. Mm -hmm. And like the X song was great too. Kendrick's mind. My my was, favorite uh, is the Travis Scott song. So I said uh, song. Lisa. Travis Scott song and that special delivery sample. I fuck with that Shanti shit, that Travis Scott shit. And let me see what there was one more that was like later on in the album. I feel like the beginning had so much back to back. Connect is the track, I like that Connecty track. Yep. What's it called? Kaneki, you made me think of Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking too. I know it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but it's your joke? first time here. Wait, we had to get a slow overall though. Like, I feel it, like it's a long way out right now. How do you I feel like, overall? Yeah, I feel like it was all right, it was a long album. Twenty three tracks is a long album. Mm. Especially when we got like, you know, Kanye dropped an album with seven tracks on it and shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? This is like three times that. That nigga so dropped like, the EPs, niggas think it's albums and shit. It's yeah. Three times. Yeah, <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, well, there was, I feel like uh, there was some fluff in between, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that we could do without, it's still my first sit-in, but I feel like he has some really good moments on this album. Um, I feel like I, I love how he's like, he was very selective on his beats and his beats were all kind of different. It yeah, wasn't like, just one sound across the whole album, it was yeah. like, touched on a lot of things. And that's what I liked about this album the most. Uh, Cause it, show, it still showed me that Lil Wayne could do it all. Facts. Mm -hmm. That's where the caps all like, that. I like the way he went about his features. Um, I really like with the Travis Scott song, like he was able to sound like he was able to sound like himself, but also a newer version of himself. Mm -hmm. Like he was able to create a new flow with what he's always done. You know what I'm saying? Like I like, 
and I like the structure of the album. It was a well structured album from top to bottom. Like you know what I'm saying? It, like it made sense at the end of the day. So yeah. I mean, I rock with it. So it's your first time here. Definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill murder and smash that subscribe button. I go by the name Ralph City RT, the Asian Prince, the media kid. Shout out to all my Haitian sock posse and I'm Bule. I say, yo, what's good? I go by the name of DC. Follow me on that Instagram, DCZ underscore world RT. Shout out to Lil Wayne, finally dropping the Carter Five. I feel like there was a lot of tracks, but I feel like he gave us a lot of tracks because of such a long wait. Mm -hmm. I feel like he had so much, so much like content that it was like, yo, let me try to cut it down as much as possible, but I want to give him a lot. Seeing so as, I mean, we got a lot of Kanye West albums since that time, a lot of J. I feel like all these people have been dropping albums, so when he drops an album, he gave us a lot to work with. Um, I'm really surprised we didn't get a Drake feature, but yo, I really like the album so far. I can't wait to listen to it a second time. Figure out my favorite tracks on it. Let us know what your favorite tracks on it in the comments, gang. Yes. Rise TV. Gang, gang, gang. It's your boy Wells. You can follow me at Wells on the score RT. Wells. Are you happy with Lil Wayne's drop? Are you happy? Are you, happy? Are, you happy? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I am. I, there's a few tracks I got on this that I'm gonna add to my daily rotation for now. Facts. So, stay tuned. In fact, uh, shout out to everybody that's in the Crete old Capitol, man, up in New Orleans. You already know what it is, man. Patrick God say. And shout out to all my Caverians out there. When you start to the GTT Moon, do your real talk, man. Check out the ITTV merch. Drip. Right down below. Right now. Description, y'all. You already know what it is, man. Big year, big year, big year. A lot of dope music coming out, and we'll continue coming up. And it's a man, it's a myth, it's a legend, Lucas underscore RT. Make sure you follow us on every major social media platform. The Carter Five, it's been a long time coming, and I'm happy with what I've heard, you know? Happy. That's that settles it. At the round table. Hey, it's you there. Hey, it's Patrick on team, man. Make sure you follow us, man. Subscribe and all that. Round table clothing. Yeah, you rock with the videos, man. We got a whole bunch of everything around us right now, man. So make sure you subscribe down there and all that. Hey.